Hi, I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my subscriber. I hope the solution of this will help many others. A man in a motorboat at A, 40 miles south of bus terminal C, receives a message at noon calling him to B. You may refer to this diagram as we read the question. A bus makes 40 miles per hour, leaves C, bound for B. That means bus is going in that direction at 1 p.m. What must be the minimum speed of the boat to enable the man to catch the bus? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So the person here in a boat receives message at 12 noon, right? So receives message at 12 noon. The bus starts in this particular direction at 1 p.m. That means after an hour. So it is important to note that after an hour, bus starts from C. Correct? Now, since the person in the boat knew that it is going in that direction, the person in the boat will start at 12 noon, right? So he get a head start, right? So we have a head start by person in the boat. That really means that if speed of boat is, let us say, S, let's say if, the, if speed S is, is boat speed, let's say, and it takes T time to reach somewhere along this path, then A to B will be S times T, okay? whereas the speed and T is the time. If speed S is boat speed and T is the time. Now, if boat is traveling for time T, then how long is the bus traveling? So it's clear that the bus travels for one hour less since it starts at 1, right? Not at 12. So bus travels for T minus 1 hours. Does make sense. Now based on this, we can now write down that as far as the bus is concerned, since the speed of the bus is 40 miles per hour, so it will be 40 times time taken by the boat minus 1. So they, they travel t hours for the boat and t minus 1 hour for the bus when they reach at a particular point. Is that clear? Now this is a very critical part of defining variables and making equations. Perfect. Now we have a right triangle as you can see. So we can relate the two sides with the diagonal all represent distance in miles right so so from here we get our equation to solve which is 40 square plus 40 times t minus 1 square equals to st square right so that is the equation which relates now this is a quadratic equation which we can solve and then find the speed, right? So that's the whole idea. So let us rearrange this particular equation. So what we get here is 1600 plus, <clears throat> so let's square it. So when you square, we get again 1600 times, I'll expand t minus one. Uh, so we get t squared minus 2t plus 1. So we just expanded this square and here we get s squared t squared.
Now, we, we can now form an quadratic equation in t squared and then solve it. So let's bring all the terms together to make this equation. So let me write down 1600 t squared. Then the t terms minus 2 times 1600 is 3200 t. We have 16, let me write 1600 this one and then again 1600 bringing it to the left side we get minus s square t square equals to zero right so that becomes our equation which we could simplify and write as we can combine these two terms and this term right so let's take it to the next page and then further solve it Okay, let's uh, copy the equation which we have. We have 1600 t square. So I'm bringing uh, minus s square t square closer to it. So just rearranging the terms. 3200 t. 1600 plus 1600 is 3200 equals to zero, right? So that's the equation. So if I combine, I get 1600 minus s square times t square. Now here we have minus 3200t plus 3200 equals to 0. Now that's a quadratic equation and if we have to find time from this equation, we can use the quadratic formula which is basically uh, minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, right? Where for us, B is minus 3200, this is C, and A is all this. So from here we can write that the possible time when they can intersect is minus of B, which is 3200, plus or minus square root of B square, which is 3200 square, Right, you may write minus. Minus 4 times A is 1600 minus S square times C, which is 3200, divided by 2 times 1600 minus S square. Right? Now, for a realistic time, the number within the square root should be greater than zero, right? So, so from here, we can say that uh, 3200 square, let me write down, this becomes positive when you square, right? Minus 4 times 1600 minus S square times 3200 should be greater than or equal to zero, right? For a real solution. Now, dividing by 3200, we get, we'll just simplify this term, okay, um, or what, okay, let's do it in steps. So, we divide it by 3200, we get 3200 minus 4 times 1600 minus S squared is greater than or equal to 0. We cancel one of these 3200s from all the three terms. Now we can rearrange. So we have 3200 is greater than or equal to 4 times 1600 minus S square. Dividing by 4, we get 800 is greater than or equal to 1600 minus S square. So now we can bring S square to the left side and solve further. S is the speed of the boat, right? So we have S square is greater than or equal to 1600 minus 800, which gives us S square being greater than or equal to 800, right? Now S is always greater than, S is greater than, 
0 is a positive quantity right therefore we could do now square root and say that s is greater than or equal to square root of 800 which means it is greater than or equal to so 800 is 40 400 times this can be written as 20 square root 2 so that becomes the the speed right so from here clearly what we get here is the minimum speed so the minimum speed could be could be 20 square root 2 miles per hour Correct. So that becomes the solution of this particular question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.